Pentec Industrial Coatings full broadcast system, utilizing PB200 and PT300. Read all technical data and MSDS sheets before application. Always premix both sides of material before each use. Have all tools and broadcast media ready before starting the base coat. This floor is a two-person install and can be completed in little as one day. Make sure all grinding is completed before starting the vertical application. Full broadcast system, vertical application base coat, PB200. If verticals are to be coated, always start with these first. After floor has been prepared, mix a small batch of PB200, usually 16 ounces of part A and 8 ounces of part B. Brush apply coating to vertical surfaces. Apply product to an opaque finish, but make sure not to apply too thick. Utilize a 3 8 inch nap roller, 3 inch or 9 inch width. These can be used on larger areas. Use a handheld scraper to scoop and lift chip into wet material. Chip should be applied to vertical surfaces within 1 to 2 minutes of applying the wet material. Block walls may soak up material, so two coats may be needed. Brush apply on block after approximately one minute. Reapply material to the same section and apply chip immediately. If coating stairs, wood or concrete, apply material in the same manner and scoop chip into wet material. Wood will soak up more material faster than concrete and two coats of material may be necessary for chip to adhere. Once all verticals have been coated, vacuum up loose chip and finish any prep work vacuum entire floor so no dust or chip is left behind. Please note, all prep work must be completed, floor vacuumed and supplies ready before starting the base coat. Full broadcast system, application of base coat, PB200. Mix a small amount of PB200 for cutting in all edges around drains and joints. You should be able to cut in the entire floor before starting the rolling process. This depends on temperature and humidity. Apply material with a 3 inch chip brush to an opaque finish. Once all edges have been cut in, mix a large batch of PB200, usually 64 ounces of part A to 32 ounces of part B. Mix smaller batches with higher temps and humidity. Use a high quality 3 8 nap roller, 18 inch width, to apply the product. Pour a ribbon of material two feet from the back wall. Always start with the shortest work span, no matter how the garage is laid out. Saturate roller and spread material to an even opaque finish. Use an M&W pattern to spread material, making sure to even out any thick spots. Pour another line of material one foot behind wet edge and continue to spread material evenly until the entire floor has been coated. Depending on temperature and humidity, you will have between 15 and 20 minutes to broadcast decorative media into wet material. Full broadcast system, broadcasting of decorative media. Place chip into a five gallon bucket and wearing spike shoes, walk back onto the wet material and hand broadcast to rejection. To maximize broadcast coverage rates, throw media high into the air and let it fan out to cover more area. Broadcast media so that there are no wet or shiny spots. You cannot broadcast too much media, but remember you will have to recover all loose material once the floor has been cured. Broadcast media until the entire floor has been covered. Be sure not to run out of chip before the end of the floor. Floor will cure between one to two hours depending on spread rate of material used and temperature and humidity. Be sure to tarp off the floor if any rain or snow could get onto the floor. Full broadcast system, scraping of decorative chip. Test floor for final cure by using your hand to remove any loose chips and use your thumb to twist the chip on the floor. If the chip moves under your thumb, floor is not ready for the next step. If there is no movement under your thumb, proceed to scrape the floor. Start at the front of the floor and scrape towards the back wall. After the first scrape, push all chips to the back wall 
and push into a pile for collection. Use pole scrapers with metal blades to scrape the floor. Always scrape in a minimum of two directions to assure all chips have been knocked down and the floor is left with a uniform texture. Turn 90 degrees and scrape for the second time, pushing all chips to the sidewall. Once floor has been scraped in both directions, collect the loose chip and place back in the box for reuse. Use a small hand scraper around all drains, garage rails, steps, or any detail areas. Make sure not to miss any of these areas with a scraper. Use a leaf blower to blow all remaining loose chips towards the back wall. This will clean the floor of any loose chips. Vacuum all loose chips along back wall, side walls, or any loose chips that are present. Always vacuum customer's driveway or exterior areas where chip or dust would collect. Broadcast system, vertical application of top coat, PT300. Mix a small amount of PT300, usually 16 ounces of part A to 16 ounces of part B. Using a three inch chip brush, apply material to vertical surfaces and cut in the floor in the same process. Do not apply material too thick to verticals as it could run down onto the floor. All vertical edges can be clear coated at the same time. Continue to cut in all verticals and edges, drains, joints, and detailed areas. Broadcast system floor application of PT300. Application of top coat is best applied with two people. Mix a large batch of PT300, usually 64 ounces of part A to 64 ounces of part B, and starting at the shortest wall. Pour a ribbon of material two feet off the back wall. Using a high quality rubber squeegee, spread material along the wall and make sure to overlap and cut in your edges. Continue to pull material back and forth, assuring you do not miss any areas and all chips are fully encapsulated. Continue to mix more material and always pour fresh material into the wet edge. Leave a thin line of material not to spread out and always pour new material into an existing edge. Once material has been applied to the back four to six feet of the floor you may have the second person saturate a high quality shed resistant 18 inch 3 8 inch nap roller and back roll the entire process. The person with the squeegee will continue to mix and spread material until the entire floor has been coated. It is very important to not leave any dry spots or thick spots behind after squeegee has covered the desired areas. The second person with the roller while wearing spike shoes goes back onto the wet material with the saturated roller and will roll in an M and W pattern across the back wall, north and south. Once the floor has been back rolled, turn 90 degrees east and west and cross roll material to help lay off any material and give the final finish. Continue to back roll across the entire floor in both directions. This install was completed in just one day with two installers. Cure times of the floor depend on temperature and humidity. You will be able to walk on the floor within four to six hours and drive times are as little as 24 hours.